Going on to all of my Aries. So you have the Hierophant, King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Six of Wands, the Moon, Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Sun, the Magician, and last but not least, the King of Cups. So what I'm seeing here for a lot of you, uh, uh, Aries, excuse me, is the Hierophant, the King of, I'm, I'm just chomping at the bit to get into this, sorry about that, but the Hierophant, the King of uh, Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles is about you, Aries, um, You, some of you Aries may have seriously been trying to get to know somebody as fairly as late, meaning recently, and um, you had to dub them. <laughs> you had to walk away from them because the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, you, here you were trying to really give them a try. Here you were. The, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, they wasn't putting in any kind of effort. They thought that for some odd reason, they were interacting with you from this perspective of you had to give them, you had to offer them all this value. You had to, you know, speak to them. You had to text them first. You had to do this. You had to call them first. You had to really try to reach out. The four of pentacles, here they were sitting up from their judgment chair, right? Or their, or the, you know, the chair that the judge has sitting up there from their judgment chair, just, just looking you know, just looking pretty or whatever the case may be, not really planning on doing any kind of work, not really planning on lifting too much of a finger, just not, just nothing, not no kind of work. And the six of wands represents, it's very, it was very difficult for you. It was like, you know, it, it was really difficult for you, Aries, to try to get to know this person because this person wasn't even trying to get to know you, Aries. And that's cold-blooded because Aries is a very fun zodiac sign. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the zodiac sign, like put it like this, like the zodiac signs that, you know, I, you know, I had the most fun with and stuff like this. The zodiac signs that as far as a relationship, I've never been in a relationship with a cancer crab. So I, you know, uh, I've known them, but I've never been in a relationship with a cancer crab. At least I don't think. But the zodiac signs that I uh, have the most had the most fun with was Aries, uh, 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 Capricorn, um, um, uh, Scorpio, uh, um, uh, yet so far, I mean, you know, a Virgo, you know, so far. You know, Virgo was a little bit of a of a rough patch, though. But the point that I'm trying to make here is the point that I'm trying to make here is that for for you Aries, though, a lot of you Aries need to need to understand that um, that again, this person wasn't really planning on on like putting in any kind of effort. So it was very good. The moon was very good. Is you left them, you ghosted them. A lot of you Aries was like, nah. You don't want to have anything to do with them. So you left, you ghosted them. And that's very good because even you, even you as Aries, as you are fun loving zodiac signs, these people didn't want to put in any kind of work. And even though they're trying to make it seem as if they're ultra serious, you know why it is that they're doing that? Is because they don't even like to have fun, truth be told. What if I told y'all that? Would y'all would y'all believe me if I told y'all that? And the reason why I'm saying that in the first place is because you ever notice that people who like to play games are not even fun individuals? You ever notice that? That's why I'm trying to get y'all to understand that it's not what you think. People who are running games, they're the ones who are dysfunctional. They're the ones who don't have fun. They're the ones who spend all day in La La Land wasting their time trying to get other people to waste their time to invest in them like these you know what i'm saying like people who play games who are not trying to elevate themselves out of it at least and are elevating themselves out of that you gotta understand man like it's dysfunction it's dysfunctional no matter how you look at it this is what i'm trying to get y'all to understand
it's people who are not the best, people who are not the brightest, people who are not going to make some real freeing progress forward for themselves and the people that they're in a relationship with. Nothing. And the reason why I'm saying that is because a lot of you, the reason why it is that a lot of you, you a lot of you Aries, excuse me, felt that little twinge in the, in the pit of your stomach and you realized that you had to ghost them, you had to leave these people alone in the first place, was because even a fun-loving zodiac sign such as you, Aries, these people wasn't ready to come outside and play and hang out with y'all. They were so stuck up. Now think about, why would a person be so stuck up at whatever age they happen to be? Why would they be so stuck up? Because they don't know how to have fun because they're so worried about the world getting one over on them because they goofy. Yeah, haven't you, show and prove, haven't y'all ever noticed that the people who play games, they always have this mentality of, I got to get you before you get me? Because they always, that's how they think constantly. Uh, I got to get you before you get me. I got to do this. I got to do that. It's like, you stupid. Those people who do that, they're stupid. Not you. I'm saying them. Because, so since you ghosted them, right? You ghosted them. The Eight of Cups. You got right out of there. The Nine of Wands. Guess what? Now they're like, oh, now they want you back. Not saying that they will come back. But now they want you back, right? Because you, Aries, had enough common sense to ghost them. Get right out of the situation because you knew where the situation was, was going. You knew that it was only a matter of time before essentially, you know, these people would, would essentially do something big that would break your heart, right? Where you find out that them and somebody else went out on a date and they, they, you know, they hung out if you catch my drift or, you know, or they leave you hanging, right? Off of every <laughs> short sentence that they're trying to use, right? Um, for years and years and years and they never actually come around to doing the right thing because the right thing would be to be in a relationship with y'all a functional one. The 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 dysfunctional thing to do was is it would be, I should say, to continue to act like they don't know that. <laughs> so the sun card now represents you, Aries. The sun, the magician, now and the king of cups now represents you, Aries. Got to uh, also understand the next step for you is for you, Aries, to understand what is your what is your boundaries and what is not, because a lot of because. That's what I'm seeing because I'm seeing how a lot of you Aries will, y'all are so caught up with being hopeless romantic sometimes. And that's great, but y'all need to watch out for that because that can unfortunately be used against you where people will try to get you to hang on off of the idea of they can be changed. You know, there's a chance that these people can be changed. You could change them. You know what I'm saying? You can change them. They could just be changed all the, all the freaking time and stuff like that. And you got to understand that since this is the case, you got to know when to say enough is enough, right? When, like, what kind of boundaries does a person cross before it's, it's danger zone sensitivity and you're like, okay, I got to get up on that here. Why? This person crossed the line. This person crossed the boundary. Set up a boundary and see if that person crosses those boundaries. Because people who are delusional and they play games, they're, they are line steppers. They like crossing boundaries. They, they don't think that... They don't, I was about to say something. They don't think that you'll leave. I was about to say something else, but they don't think that you'll leave. So because of it, creating that boundary also protects you, but it also keeps you safe because at the same time, right, it sets up something where if they, if they cross that line and they keep trying to figure out ways to cross that line, you're trying to text them, they're not answering, 
right? They're constantly talking about sorry, 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 but yet it's a it's a, a common thing. You talk to them a certain kind of way, you like, what's up? They 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 you know, they they get super offensive, right? Not defensive, offensive. They get super offensive. Now they want to start talking about this, that, and the third, and giving you this sob story. That you know, make a decision on how far you're willing to go with people. You understand what I'm saying? Make make a decision, right? Because what what I'm honestly seeing here for you, Aries, is y'all are on the right track. But the only pro one of the I ain't gonna say the only problem, but one of the problems that you Taurus have, Aries have, excuse me is a lot of you Aries need to need to create a um, boundaries. Once you create those boundaries, it will make things even easier for you to understand when someone is playing games or not, right? Because situations like myself, I've had plenty of people who will come on in, I'll be trying to get to know them, they're making it difficult. That's a dub because that's one of my boundaries. Why are you wasting your... Why Why do I have your number? Why did we exchange numbers? This was years ago. This was like a few years ago, four or five years ago. But why do I have your number if you expect me to call you all the time? If you expect me to, to, to put in the work, but yet you're literally not giving me anything. Even if I, even if I put in the work and I text you, you taking super long time to, to text. You not doing anything. You 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 getting yourself, you know, caught up. I'm not gonna get into too much detail on that. <laughs> but you getting yourself caught up. However, you getting yourself caught up. So, you know, just for per just for a person's personal privacy, I ain't gonna get into that. You know, nothing. Nothing that would have something come down on me, but, you know, not to, you know, put person privacy like that on blast. But the point is, is that, um, so that was a dub for me because why are you wasting your time? Why? Like what? You could just be like, nah, I'm good. You know what I mean? And whatever. But no, you, you know what I'm saying? So it, it makes it easier for, for you to be able to understand. Let's clarify some cards. All right, let's clarify some cards. Let's clarify the moon. It's my dog. You have the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the, Har the uh, Emperor, excuse me, and the Nine of Swords. Right. Yeah, you, you bounce to work on yourself. You bounce to... You bounce for your own health because a lot of you Aries understand that it's better for you to be by yourselves than to be with a dysfunctional individual like that. What you doing? <sighs> so the thing is that the emperor, which represents Aries, so you did show up in your own reading, the emperor and the nine of swords represents. So the emperor is about like, uh, you now have to, how do I say? you now have to dethrone the king in that regard like you know you essentially dethrone them or take them off that pedestal that they've put themselves on by not paying attention to them by not by not worrying about what they've got going on and the reason why i'm saying that in the first place is because you really do need to understand that the best thing for you to to defeat people at their own game quote unquote not really but the best way to defeat people when they want to you know price you out act like you know whatever it is that you're talking about they're not interested in or whatever the case may be again why are they why are they there talking to you if they were if they really wasn't so interested they wouldn't even be interested enough to even exchange numbers with you you ever take that into consideration because they're playing games but the best way for you to to defeat them is to implement your own game when they want to play like they're the they're the judge and they don't have to talk to you and they don't have to come down off their pedestal and you're just uh you know you're just a peewee you know what i'm saying what you do is you just say okay 
shrug your shoulders, keep it pushing. Take these delusional people who, you know, think that, <laughs> you know, think that they run the world and that, you know, they, they really have some sort of place in the world. Take these people out of the equation of your life and see how much of an importance they now put on to you. <laughs> Because now they want to chase after you now that you're not paying them any attention now because they goofy. Because to them, that's the type of relationships that they want to have because they're too stupid to be in a relationship where it's it's a relationship where it's, it's a healthy one and the two of you are reciprocating. Let's clarify the magician. You have the Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Empress, which represents Libra, which is the opposite sign of Aries. And then you have the Death card. So this is about you, Aries, being, right, to clarify the Magician, right? The Nine of Wands, the Queen of Cups, don't feel bad that you left. Don't go back. Don't look at this person's stuff. Just think about, just think about them. Think about how it is that you're glad that you finally got out of this, in, this dynamic and, and understand whenever it is that someone is trying to put you back into that dynamic again. And understand how dysfunctional they are. The Empress, the, the Death card, exactly. You maintain your dignity and move forward. So overall, a very good reading for you, Aries. Just set up boundaries for yourself so that you can make it that much easier to decide or to determine for yourself when people are running games on you. Um... Because when you set up a boundary, if people keep crossing it, now you go, okay, I can't rock with you because you keep crossing boundaries. Yeah, forget about forget about all of that apologizing. You keep crossing boundaries, though, and you don't shape up. So it's a dub for me. It'll, it'll show you when it's a good idea for you to leave. You understand? It's a warning. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, I have 6,176 subscribers. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Hit the notification bell. And set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. Peace.